Hello folks, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Rans Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an exclusive logo reveal inside After Effects. This is just very easy and simple way of making a logo reveal. So for those people who are new and beginner of these After Effects, this might be good for you. So let me show you guys what we are gonna be making today. Let me begin by creating a new composition and I will name it logo. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and fifteen seconds duration click OK and I will open the project assets, expand this image and drop this e logo PNG in my timeline. Press S on my keyboard to scale it up. Change the value here from 100 to 150. I will grab the text tool and I will type eagle. As you can see, I'm using Batman Forever alternative, regular at 28 pixel size. I will just put this text here and align it horizontally. I will highlight this eagle text and duplicate it. Press P on my keyboard for the position and drag it down. And double click your mouse to change the text. I will change it to Phoenix. Still I'm using Batman Forever alternative at 28 pixel size. And I will grab again the text tool. I will type Supremacy. This time I'm gonna be using an aerospace font. And I will again drag this on this side just below the eagle text. I will also align it horizontally. I will expand this Phoenix animate tracking. I will move my player to about 3 seconds. Hit the stopwatch here. Move back my player to about 1 second and change the value on your tracking amount. I think that's good enough. I will close it. I will expand this eagle text and animate it. Again, I'm gonna be using tracking. I will move my playhead to about 2 seconds and hit the stopwatch in here. Move my playhead back to 1 second. Change the tracking amount value. I think that's good enough. Go to composition, create new composition, and we will name it Joker. 30 frames per second and 15 seconds duration. Then drag your logo down in your timeline. Go ahead and duplicate it. So this time we will use the mat choker but first go to effects and preset generate fill. I want this color black. Go back to effects and preset and find mat choker. I will change the iteration probably to and I will drag it down below the original logo. Now go and create a new composition and we will name it reflection. Click OK. Go to your project panel, open the project assets, image, drop down this reflection in your timeline. I will just move this down a bit and go to effects and preset, find a stylized motion tile. Change the output width to 200. Click the stopwatch here on the tile center and move your playhead to about at the end of your timeline and change this value here. So let's play and let's see. too slow so probably I will again drag it more and then check this mirror edges let's try to play it again it's already faster 
so now we will go to composition and create another new composition and we will name it logo animate Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p, thirty frames per second and fifteen seconds duration. I will drop this logo down in my timeline. The reflection and the choker. I will highlight the reflection. Go to effects and preset. I will go to stylize CC glass. I will open CC glass and change the bump map to choker. Change the softness to thirty. The height probably negative 30. Displacement map is negative 500. I will also go back to effects and preset. Find distort and I will find CC globalize. Open the blobbiness. Change the blob layer to joker. The softness is 6. Caraways 3. Go back to effects and preset and find color correction and curves. Just want this the RGB to be up to lighten up a bit and then I will change the track mat here to alpha mat. So now you can see it's beautiful, right? I'll change the resolution to half and let's try to scrub our playhead. Let's see what happens nice so now we will go to composition again open a new composition and we will name it main click ok go open your project panel open your project assets expand the footage drop down these video blocks smoke Press T on your keyboard for the opacity. Change this to 20%. And change the blending mode to add. Then go to edit and duplicate it right away. Go to layer. Go to transform and transform it horizontal. I will close this one and highlight it both. Precompose it. I will name it the smoke. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. I will go back to my project panel and drop down this blue panther footage. I will make this add and go to 1 second and 25 frames and split it. Go to edit, split layer, just delete this layer. Highlight the footage, go to edit, and duplicate it right away. Highlight both. Press P on your keyboard for the position. Animate it. But first, highlight this top blue panther. Go to layer, transform it, flip horizontal. And enable the title action save here, so you can see better. And move this on the right side. Just enough that the face will be at the center of the canvas. Also the other one, drag it on the left side. Just eyeball it into the center of your canvas. I think that should be good enough. So all I have to do is to animate it. So I will go to 1 second and 24 frames. Make a keyframe here by hitting the stopwatch button. Go back to the beginning of my timeline. Make this panther out of the canvas. I will go back to my project panel and drop down this shockwave on my timeline. So I will go to 1 second and 24 frames. Press open bracket key. Change the blending mode here to add. Also I will drop this explosion here. Drop it down to my timeline. And I will press open bracket key too. I will highlight the explosion one. Press T on my keyboard for the opacity. And change the opacity to about 20%. And change the blending mode to add. 
also the explosion too i will change it to add i will go back to my project panel and drop down this logo animate just above the smoke composition i will press t for the opacity i will just move this composition to where the explosion begins and probably this is good enough and i will just make the opacity here first zero hit the stopwatch here to create a keyframe and move my player to about six seconds and make it 100 so let's see nice so now i will just highlight all the explosions and pre-compose it i will name it shockwave move all the attributes into the new composition click ok and also these panthers i will pre-compose it i will name it collision move all the attributes into the new composition and click ok i will change the blending mode here to add also this collision i will change it to add and also this logo animate so now i will go to my sound effects drop it down to my timeline i will move this at the bottom highlight these three sound effects move my player to about here where the explosion happens and then open bracket key i will also open the audio and look at the waveform as you can see that there's no sounds in here all i have to do is just to move this layer be sure that the beginning there will be a background music i will animate the audio background too probably at 13 seconds and hit the stop watching here to create a keyframe move my play at the end of the timeline and make it negative 48 i will also look at the waveform here and probably i will just split this because I don't need these sound effects here all I have to do is to go to edit and split the layer and I will delete this layer and I will close it again and let's see what happens yep before making my final compositions i will go back to my project panel open the project assets open the image i will open the shockwave and i will just drop down this lens flare move it somewhere here so it's also the same with the position of the shockwaves and change the blending mode here to add i will probably animate the lens flare in terms of scale so I will highlight the lens player layer and press S on my keyboard for the scale. Move my player forward to about 4 seconds or so. Hit the stopwatch in here for the scale and move my playhead to about 5 seconds or so. Make the scale to 0. I will go back to the main and let's see what happens. There you go, it's gone already. and i will also open the footage and drop down these angled beams with transition and then right click my mouse and enable the time remapping i will adjust this layer to the end of my timeline and also the keyframe change the blending mode here to add so now i'm gonna go to composition create new composition and i will name it final And I will click OK. I will close these ones and drop the main composition to our timeline. So now we are ready to render. So now, guys, we are done with our tutorial, and I hope you enjoy it and you learned something on it. Don't forget, guys, to like it because it helps a lot in the algorithm of our channel. And comment if you have questions. Share to your friends if you like. 
for those people who are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon so that you will be notified on all the videos that i'm gonna be uploading in the next coming days okay so my thoughts for today guys is that don't worry guys about confusions all you have to do is to be composed and you will realize one day that you have coped all the confusions you have so thank you guys for watching and see you next time god bless